It's round two of the FCS playoffs. Round two between Richmond and William and Mary, but the 126th meeting will be the first ever in the FCS playoffs. We told ourselves, hey, if we if we take care of these Duquesne, this Duquesne team, we're going to get exactly what we wanted, and um, that's a rematch with the team that got the better of us the first time. In the regular season finale, the normally stout tribe defense allowed 217 yards rushing and a touchdown from Richmond running back Jacoby Green and allowed two touchdown passes from Kyle Loletta. We didn't play like uh, like we're capable of playing, and they and they made plays. I mean, I I mean, in certain care, uh, certain instances, we had uh, we had the right thing called. We had people in the right position, and they made them. On offense, Tribe quarterback Steve Cluley played maybe his worst game of the season, throwing no touchdowns and three interceptions in a 20 to nine loss. When you play a really good team like that, and you turn it over like we did, you you're really then playing behind the count. The Spiders snapped William & Mary's six-game winning streak, but this time around, it's about much more than just bragging rights. It's a winner go home, so that's like the biggest driving force, and we don't want to stop playing with each other because uh, you know, we're really close as a team. If we don't win, we, this, this bond that we have on this team, this brotherhood that we have is going to be over for a, for a while. With these seniors, it's going to be over. And to add a little more spice, the tribe have lost four straight to the Spiders. It's a pride thing. I mean, it's it's us in Richmond. You know, it, it doesn't matter if we're both 0-10. It's it's William Mary. It's Richmond. We need to beat these guys. And end of story. Another chapter for the oldest rivalry in the South kicks off Saturday at noon in Williamsburg. Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.